This is the Mantis, the world's largest all-terrain rideable hexapod. The futuristic vehicle was designed and built by Matt Denton and took four years to create. As a child, Matt was inspired by the AT-AT robots from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. The robot is 9 feet tall and weighs 4,188 pounds. It wasn't built to be fast. Instead, Matt wanted to build an insect-like vehicle that could walk on any surface. It's powered by a 2.2 liter diesel motor, which is connected to a hydraulic pump that supplies hydraulic fluid around the system. On every leg are three hydraulic actuators that move each joint. It's all mapped out on a computer software that determines how to move the legs accurately. And in November of 2017, the Mantis was awarded the Guinness World Record Certificate for the largest rideable hexapod robot. This may look like a 1972 Beetle, but it's really a UTV, or Utility Terrain Vehicle. The UTV Beetle was built by John Tedesco, who has been working on hot rods with his father since he was a young boy. In New Jersey, driving a UTV on the streets is illegal. John wanted to buy a UTV, but didn't want to spend all the money on a vehicle he couldn't drive on a daily basis. So he welded the body of a 1972 Beetle onto a Polaris UTV, and then registered the vehicle as a Beetle. Vehicles that are 25 years or older are not required to be inspected as long as they have valid registration and all the necessary parts to be street legal, like lights, seatbelts, and blinkers. The UTV Beetle can traverse muddy roads, water, and steep terrain. It can reach up to 70 miles per hour and weighs 1,800 pounds. The car catches a lot of attention on the road, with many flagging down the vehicle to ask about it. John hopes to drive the UTV Beetle through the streets of New York City in the near future. This motorcycle is made from semi-truck parts. Hi, my name is Jim Gesto. I'm the creator of the Power Tri. I love riding motorcycles, but I did not like the apparent danger that came with riding motorcycles. So I built the Power Trike as a safer alternative. I Googled the largest motorcycle that you could possibly build, and it's still called it a motorcycle, and we could come up with 11,000 pounds. After that, it's not a motorcycle. This one weighs in at 10,900. After repairing semis for 50 years, Jim had the skill set to bring the Tower Trike to life. It's powered by a 320 horsepower semi engine and reaches up to 85 miles per hour. This is the Swincar E-Spider, an all-terrain electric vehicle that's nearly impossible to flip over. It was developed by French designer Pascal Rambeau. Here's why it's unstoppable. Its design is based on a pendulum. Four independent suspension systems keep the driver vertical at all times. This functionality gives the E-Spider flexibility on hills, sand, and rough terrain. The East Spider can climb 3,200 feet uphill on a single charge. It claims a battery life of up to four hours on hilly terrain and has a top speed of 18 miles per hour. There's also an East Spider Tandem and an East Spider Mobility. The Tandem has a rear seat for a passenger and a more powerful motor to give it the same speed and range as the standard model. The E-Spider Mobility is made for people with limited mobility. The legs swing up to 90 degrees for easy transfer to and from a wheelchair. This is the Rolka. It's a homemade amusement park ride built by YouTuber Master Milo. So how does it work? This dizzying ride started off as a Ford Ka. Milo shortened the compact car and fit it inside of two giant ring wheels. 
The wheels on the Ford Ka spin and make traction within the tracks of the larger fabricated ring wheels. Brakes on either side of the vehicle are used to stop the interior tires from rotating, and the sudden change in momentum flips the riders 360 degrees upside down while moving forward. The unique build is also fitted with a roll cage and harnesses for safety.